a Cards with Michael production. What's up, YouTube? It's Cards with Michael. Today we're opening a mystery booster and adding some prices to see how well we do. This is one of the last mystery boosters that I have, and uh, I don't know. These have appreciated real well, come around, I don't know, 300 bucks on TCG, eBay. And, uh, you know, when we do these EV calculations, I guess we'll understand why. This is generously sponsored by a bunch of patrons. Let's see what we got. All right, Jason, coming in for the first two packs. Let's go. Yeah, like I said, we're gonna use pricing today from TCG Player. Uh, Mystery Boosters, of course, are gonna come back to WPN stores um, sometime this summer. We're not sure when, uh, but uh, I'm really excited to be able to draft them again in store. And uh, they're gonna be the convention editions too, so those are kind of wild and wacky. And I have a couple of those packs, but gosh, they're like 70 bucks on TCG Play right now, and I don't want to open them. Ah, uh, first, Felidar Guardian, all right. Welcome turn. Counter spell in this pack, okay. All right. Here we go, Shonda's Revolution. Do you like that as a removal spell? Ghost Quarter. Magus of the Moats, our first rare. All right, that's that's uh, okay. Taurine Mauler, and our foil is a foil recce. The history of Kamigawa. All right, probably would take the counter spell in that pack. All right, here we go. Next pack for Jason. What do we have? Resurrection, all right. The Ram, right into being. Dazzling Lights, Aid the Fallen, not bad, I do like Aid the Fallen. Bloodstone Goblin, The Motivator, Ledge Walker, Bristling Boar, skip the card here. Azra Odds Maker, all right. Bottle Gnomes, Bow of Nylea, all right, I do like that. Fibble Thip, and a Sakura Tribe Scout. It's a couple bucks, all right, not bad. Probably take the bow of Nylea there. Just such a powerful rare. Such a powerful rare. It's really dominate games. It's an enchantment artifact. So it has both an enchantment ability and an active. Then we have for Doug, 10 packs. Let's go, Doug. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Here we go. Let's do this. Can anyone guess? Uh, where these are going to be in about, uh, I don't know, a couple months when the convention editions also start popping out. I actually don't really think these are going to decrease because the supply of them isn't really increasing. Tower of Eons, Animar, and a really cool Planar Chaos, Frozen Aether. All right, Animar, not bad. Not bad at all. Back to the two for Doug. Let's go. Let's see it. Sky Marcher, <laughs> Sky Marcher Aspirant. The Sacred Cat, meow. All right, Glint, the Sorcerer, Timmy, Dark Dabbling, Ghostly Changing, Hyena Pack, Vent Scent, the Spider of Penumbra, Reclaiming Vines, Satyr Enchanter, all right, Breaker of Armies, Archangel, Evra, and a Mind Funeral. All right, not bad for another pack. I'm digging it, I am digging it. All right, here we go. We got our commons, Path of Peace, nice little removal spell. All right, get that Aetherborn, excellent two drop. Uh, Explore, one of my favorites, and ah, gorgeous art. Rocks, War Monk, all right. Oops, get the card here, Dark Steel Citadel. Dominus of Fealty, incredibly hard to cast card. Sewer Nemesis, not a bad card at all, not a bad card at all. And a Norns NX, all right. Go with that five color Super Friends deck. Okay, next pack for Doug, let's go. Here we go. We got our commons. Purple Crystal Crab, okay. Maximize Altitude, Reaper of Night, Pit Keeper, Goblin Bombardment, all right. I think that's a couple bucks. Spark Tongue Dragon, the Behemoth, Gladeheart, Hama, Droppa, all right. Bone Saw, Elixir of Immortality, Dictate of Helioid, not bad, not bad, and a Maelstrom Nexus. This is the type of card that I like drafting. There you go. Maelstrom Nexus. Not so great with Counterspell, but I really like it. I guess it's not terrible with Counterspell because you could counter something in your opponent's turn and then uh, cascade into a one drop, like this Inquisition of Kozilek, right? Shock. 
Kiss of the Amisha. I don't understand. Six mana. Draw gains. I guess it's not terrible, actually. I thought it was really bad, but at least you draw two cards. Sapphire, Charm. Approach of the Second Sun. That's the type of deck that Kiss of the Amisha would go into. And a mana weft sliver. All right. Nice little Birds of Paradise. Sliver of Paradise. Okay. Here we go. Fascination, Crow, Scuttling Death. Valakut Predator, Crash Through, Lead the Stampede, Elvish Warrior, Kintree Invocation, The Strider, Ooh, Phyrexian Metamorph, all right, The Skate, Deep Glow Skate, and a Balduvian Rage, which I also think is a pretty good card. Is that a rare, or is that an uncommon? That's an uncommon, okay. On to the next, okay, we have a Nine-Tail White Fox, interesting, Strategic Planning, Reaper, I do enjoy the adventure creatures, they're all so good. Recover, not a bad two for one. Grape Shot, the Ori Flame, nice. Root Out, Commune with the Gods, Akran Assassin, Jungle Hollow, Phantom Centaur, Whelming Wave, and a Herald of Lashrek. All right. Let's see, can we get a crypt? We haven't gotten any of the super good hits so far, but it's possible. Cabal Therapy, not bad. Undo Giant, Scatter the Seeds, Claim to Fame, Blighted Fen, Avalanche Riders, and got a little Planeswalker here, Liliana, Death's Majesty. I'd be drafting that in a Boundless Realms. Okay, two more packs for Doug. Let's go. We've definitely gotten Crips before. Um, I believe. Oh, hey, Barter Cow. This card recently made the headlines. Not too bad at all. I think we'll make a. This will be our thumbnail. Okay. Maybe. <laughs> all right. Let's go. Let's see it. Galvanic Blast, Blades. Oh, yeah. The, the cows, of course, seeing play in the. Asmana Radicular decks. You know what I'm talking about? Violent Ultimatum. Champion of the Parish. And Stocking Stones. Alright. Here we go. On to the very last pack for Doug. The Unicorn. Light Walker. Condescend. Curiosity. Mark of the Vampire. Curse Minotaur. The Berserker. And these cards are getting more and more off-center cut. It's just the front. Interestingly, like, the back is fine. It's not that... Uh, it's just completely kind of off-cut or off-center. Interesting. The Basilisk. Airy of Bowmasters. Love that card. Keyword's Follower. Also love that card. Renegade Map. Love that card, too. Supports five-color strategies. Brimstone Dragon. Commit to memory. And one with nothing. All right, that's what we got for Doug. Not sure we have too much value there, but uh, we'll see. Look at the price of everything pulled so far. Boom. All right, next we have Adam Price coming in with two packs. All right, let's get some spicy cards for Adam. Let's go. Genju of the Spires, nice little Betrayers of Kamigawa card. Throne, Thornhide Wolves, the Tiger. All right. Ethereal Ambush, Juggernaut, Crystal Shard. We're drafting this, homie. We're drafting this, homies. All right. And a Spawning Grounds, interesting, and a Lightning Storm. All right. Last pack. Last pack. Here we go. The Caracol. Unwavering Initiate, nice little Embalm creature. Monastery Lore Master, nice little two for one. Uh, kind of like an Anarchist type card. Search for Tomorrow, Clip Wings. Blood Braid Elf, all right. The Great Furnace. Draco, oh yeah, this is my kind of card. We're drafting this, forcing it. War of Invention and an Alchemist. Refuge, the Refuge is actually not bad. A lot of decks are realizing this is kind of like, you know, just a freebie. Any card, any decks playing those two colors should probably play this card just because of the flexibility. Uh, oh, and I'm talking about Commander, of course. Ace, coming in for two packs. 
Let's go, Ace. Here we go. So, it's been a bit. It's been a bit since we've opened up mystery boosters. Here we go. Goblin more paint. Okay, let's see it. Death Reap Ritual. Full Map Bizarre Barge. Dragon Broodmother. Wow, okay. Got ourselves a mythic here. Mimic that. Get in the cube. And a foil grater moss dog. All right. Pack number two for Ace. Come on now. Let's go. Draven Inspector. That's beautiful. Core Firewalk. That's another really, really playable card. Turn aside. Brainstorm. Bane of Historic. Twins. Fatal Push. Wow. This is a really, really high amount of playables in this pack. Wooly Loxodon, the Cobra Engineered Might, and another very, very good, like, staple playable, three and Dynamo, Phantasmal Dragon, Green Belt Rampager, and a Knowledge Pool. I don't know if Knowledge Pool is worth a lot of monies, but that is a super sweet foil. All right. Thank you, Ace, for sponsoring into this video today, and we will continue on to Jeremy, coming over five packs. All right, let's do it, Jeremy. One, two, three, four, five. Here you go. Pack number one for Jeremy. We got the Fetters. All right. Loyal Sentry, the Sage. This card is just like strictly better than the, the Crab. I really like this card, by the way. City Watch Sphinx, Vessel, Cower and Fear, Crown Hunter Hireling, Fire Elemental, Seal of Strength, the Moss Beast, Plax Caster Frogling, Herald's Horn, that's a, that's a money, that's a money for sure. Massa Transmuter, such a cool card, and a Memory Erosion. All right. Oh, wait, also a Blighted Agent. Oops, it's off by one. Herald's Horn is such a valuable card, forgot that it was not actually a rare. I really like Memory Erosion as well. Nice little mill theme going on. And it kind of gives you inevitability. All right, here we go. The Mystics. Lunark Mantle. Refocus Brine Elemental. Sangir Vampire. The Hauler. Cyclops. Spectrap Goblin. Gaia's Blessing or Gaia's Blessing. Adventurous Impulse. Zealous Persecution. Guardians of Miletus. Helm of Awakening. All right. It's not a bad card at all. Decree of Justice. And a Mist Hollow Griffin. Boop, boop. Nice, nice. Miss Hall Griffin. I'm a fan of that card. Kind of just randomly has that inevitability when you can exile it. Vampire Champion, Dinosaur Hunter, Dragon Fodder, Gut Shot. Okay, here we have our Halberd from Throne of Eldraine. The Dryad. The Druid. Call the Scions. Pestilence. What a card. Cage Sun. And a Rune Tail Kitsune. Send it. I love Cage Sun. What a card. What a card. Here we go. Retreat your Myria. Beautiful, powerful. Mnemonic Wall. I'm a fan of Mnemonic Wall. Diminish. Sangir Vampire. Okiba Gang Shinobi. Impact Tremors. Dragon Soul Knight. Timber Watch Elf. The Root Walla. Join Shields. Farmstead Gleaner. Rhystic Study. Nice. Super solid hit right there. Oh man, I don't know what these are going for now, but that's great. Oh, and an expropriate. Hello. All right. And car this tyrant of guns. All right, last pack for Jeremy. That's exciting. That is really exciting. Expropriate and Rustic Study in the same pack. Those are some of the best hits, of course, in these boxes. Byway Courier, Desert Twister, Gift of Arzova, The Plaza, Wild Nactyl. Okay, Nakadal, sorry. Mystic Confluence and an Iron Mirror. All right, I'd be a happy camper if I were you, Jeremy. That, those are some spicy pulls that we just got. Rhystic Study, what a classic card. Did you pay the one yet? Did you pay the one yet? Did you pay the one yet? All right, last two packs, or last three packs. The Kulin, let's go. Have we missed out on anything yet? I don't know. I guess we still need a Crypt. Just like random cards, Recruit of the Guard, et cetera, et cetera. That'd be really nice. Friction and Jester, I love drafting this card. So powerful. Seven mana, exile your best threat. I get a big threat, two for one, right there. Rashad and Footpad, Two-Headed Giant, and a Viscera Seer foil. Viscera Seer is not bad in foil. 
All right, here we go. Cloud Shift, Youthful Scholar. Love that art motif, the sultai, like gold theme. All right. Blue Elemental Bass, Blast, Grasping Scoundrel, Willow the Wisp, Andu Champions, Jackal Pup, Lead by Example, Thornscape Battle Mage, Martial Glory, Sunset Pyramid, Hippie, the Marari Conjecture, and a Sinu Sliver. Last pack, last pack, let's go. I don't think this is the most excellent box ever, but it does, you know, it does reflect reality, right? Some boxes can't be all-stars. Wrath, Sigil of Valor, Soothsaying, release the gremlins, and we end with, okay, not bad, a Braid of Fire, one of the better pulls in that foil slot. Guys, that's the video. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you.